Okay, so um, I completely understand Jordan Peterson's interview now where he says, yes, I do carnivore, but I hate it and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sounds like a fantastic diet. I hate it and I don't want to talk about it. Welcome to the carnivore diet. Critique, criticisms, not hating, just saying, first of all, a bit about my background, been a personal trainer since 1996, trained thousands of people successfully to obtain and maintain a slim physique from obese to lean, no worries. I can guarantee you guarantee you the abs here on this right here, uh, what I call two, two hour abs, I mean this person only had them for two hours, they're a product of steroids and diuretics and a little bit of lighting there, you can sort of see the steroid pimples in the chin there. Anyway, that's the deal there, all right? You'll never ever have abs like that because of a carnivore diet. This abs of, is from years of training, steroid abuse, stimulant abuse, diuretics, and di dehydration manipulation, okay? But that's the thing, people go, no, that's not true. You just need a carnivore diet, you have abs like that. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Look at the photos here, man. Oh my God, this looks like cat food. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh the, the, <laughs> the dog, oh, what? Yeah, the, the fuck, what is this? Turn this off. Blah, oh, man. Okay, uh, I'm starting this woe. What does woe mean? Way of eating. I don't rec I don't eat red meat. Does what's wrong with red meat? Isn't red meat carnivore? <laughs> I mean, imagine being a lion. Imagine a lion who's not even a carnivore. A lion's an omnivore. But let's say a lion is a carnivore, and the lion's like, "I'm sorry, guys. I I, I don't eat zebra today. I'm gonna eat ox. I'm looking for something a little bit leaner, like some 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 uh, some poultry. You gonna eat poultry today on the on the savannah? So far, anyway, do you have any success with just chicken and eggs? <laughs> How do you keep yourself full of any vegetables or fruits? Thanks in advance. All right, so the, the, someone's responded here. The entire purpose of this diet is to eat fatty meat. The biggest part is eating anti-inflammatory diet, which is the fat. So if it's fat, really, fats and inflammatory, really, really, okay? So the fat of animals is anti-inflammatory, really. So arachidonic acid is anti-inflammatory, anti really. Why do doctors, what, what, is, what are all the health professionals out there who have any integrity, any logic in that, tell you that the fatter you are, the more body fat you have, the more inflammation you'll have? Because that's true. So where is the logic in eating more body fat from another animal to increase your body fat, okay? Isn't the goal here to lose weight, to have low body fat. So how does eating body fat get rid of your body fat? It doesn't work, okay? Anyway, um, high protein diets are just as deadly as plant diets. Oh my God, let's just have a look at who's Angela. Okay, so Angela's heavy filters, etc. cetera. Um, blah, blah. Again, this is a public Facebook group, okay? Um, that's a lot of, oh man, it's just, uh, I mean, are people trolling, really? Are people trolling in here? All right. Google rabbit starvation syndrome. You know, you need fats. You know, like, I mean, <laughs> you need fat. <laughs> I mean, it is true. Chicken poisoning. Uh, sorry, rabbit poisoning uh, is what happened when the explorers on Shackleton's trip and Shackleton was fueled with sugar and cocaine. All right. And Shackleton's buddy said, they had the co his cocaine pills, he said the sugar was more powerful than the cocaine. All right? He said if he had his time again, he would have packed the sugar instead of more cocaine. He would have packed more sugar. He would have packed enough sugar. Isn't that, you should read all this stuff. Read the, just type in cocaine um, and Shackleton Antarctic expeditions. And literally one of the guys said, his direct quote was, you know, the cocaine just gives you that buzz, but the sugar actually gives you the fuel to keep going, okay? Um, okay, so Natalie Burns says to Simran, I have gout. Why don't you eat red meat? I have gout and not allowed to eat red meat anymore. I said, <laughs> but I thought humans are designed to be carnivore. You got gout. Yeah, meat doesn't cause gout, babe. Your doctor may be wrong. Watch this. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so protein... Animal protein, excess protein doesn't cause gout, they say. I don't even know what to say here, man. This is like, you know, 
<laughs> Jason Douglas in there. Everyone else ever consider every gram of fat where you get stored as body fat there. Well, we can't, therefore, before we can burn it off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is a, this is a rational question here. So Jason says, anyone else concerned that every gram of fat we eat gets stored as body fat, which is true, before we can even burn it off? Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. What are the comments here? I heard you need at least 45 grams of fat for hormonal V. Like what? For, who came up with the 45? Uh, um, other than that, I'd rather use my own body fat unless it's naturally occurring in my carny foods. You know, like the IQ of people in this group. What would it be? What would be the average IQ of people who say, I've heard you need 45 grams of fat. Maybe they're from Alabama or Southern Tennessee, and that's okay, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having an IQ of seven. Nothing wrong with that at all, all right? Nothing wrong with that. Quite a simple way to live, actually. Um, you save a lot of energy on thinking. Other than that, I'd, I'd rather use my own body fat unless it's naturally occurring in my carny foods. So this guy's thinking, he's not thinking. <laughs> he's not thinking. I can't even tell you what he's thinking because he's not thinking. <laughs> I don't even know what he thinks because he ain't thinking. Um... You know, so Jason asked an important question there. Wouldn't that be the case with sugar then? Would, would it be easier and more efficient to turn fat into body fat than turning sugar into fat, which is a more complex task? So this Jason guy, yeah, I think he's taking a bit too much, he's talking a bit too much logic in this group and it's going to go whoosh, over the top of people's heads. Okay. Everyone jump in this group and read what Jason Douglas is saying. This guy's talking logically. Um, okay. When our fat gets too low, it becomes dead and dangerous. I agree, that's when you're anorexic. Um. <laughs> <This is laughs> High calories of protein and fat together will add weight and muscle, but it has to be a lot. Once the fat storage gets low, then you have to eat more fat to keep up with the energy levels. Yeah, that's right. Once your body fat gets low, so why would you be eating more fat until you reach that point? I, I don't even know what to say here. Organs, having zero fat is really dangerous, you know. Oh, man, this is... Uh... Okay, so Aaron says, nope, fat doesn't make you fat. That's why it's not called fat. That's why fat's called fat, no, because it doesn't make you fat, but it does, no, no fat's doesn't, fat's not fat. Okay, people, fat isn't fat. Fat's not turned to fat. No, 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 no. Fats, when you eat fat, it turns to muscle. Sugar and starches make you fat. Only survival foods in your survival situation. <laughs> and this, this Aaron guy got offended because someone called him a little bit tub tub. All right, so, you know, um, wow. Is that true, that fat eating is stored as body fat? Are they the same, or is a body fat a product of something else? <laughs> so, this is, the body uses what goes in first and then what is stored. The fat's always stored as fat, people. All right? It's always stored as fat. Um, oh, man, this is like, I don't even know what to say here. You know, eating fat does not make you fat. See Dr. Ken Berry. How come Dr. Ken Berry recommends starving yourself and eating as little as possible? All right. Let's be honest. The carnivore world is an absolute joke. It's a fad diet that causes decrease in health and performance on the same very same day. It causes insulin resistance as measured by every single carnivore person that I've ever tested who did an old, old glucose tolerance test. They're all type 2 by diabetic. Every single carnival person who's actually doing the fatty diet, honestly, is a type 2 diabetic. They have massive insulin resistance. Ken Berry is type 2 diabetic, okay? Ken Berry recommends eating as little as possible so you can stay slim. Ken Berry, I wouldn't call him slim. That's my personal question, uh, personal opinion, sorry. And, uh, oh man. It's just like <laughs> better than the. Oh, it's, just, it's like I'm losing brain cells. You know, I mean, it's like talking to drunk five year old kids. It's like, what do you say? The, this, the logic is, 
you know. Okay, so um, I completely understand Jordan Peterson's interview now where he says, yes, I do carnivore, but I hate it and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sounds like a fantastic diet. I hate it and I don't want to talk about it. That's like saying, oh, you're married to your soulmate. How is she? I hate her and I don't want to talk about it. So Jordan Peterson talks about his current diet that he rambles as the best thing ever and he hates it so much he doesn't want to talk about it. But he says it's the best thing ever. Like, what? how feminine can you get? There's nothing wrong with being a feminine man, I'm just saying. You know, you're going to be very confused in life. Um, I've never loved meat, so it's starting to get really hard. On day 11 now, I totally get how he says he doesn't like it, but he does it for his health. <laughs> uh, the lion diet. Far out. Man, these people are lost. Okay, so I've been doing the carnivore diet exactly as I should be and not losing any weight. If anything, I've gained 10 pounds. I did the carnivore diet and I gained 10 pounds rapidly. All right, so they ain't going to be 10 pounds of muscle glycogen. That's going to be 10 pounds of fat and colon matter, okay? That's going to be 10 pounds of hydration. That's going to be 10 pounds of inflammation, blocked up, backed up colon, potentially tumors, and a whole lot more body fat, okay? Um, you know, and again, you got, got these people here, people starving. You know, let's see, let's see what you do. I, bet, I had a carnivore diet, I ate one sausage a day. <laughs> it's like, do you just starve yourself and it's going to rebound, okay? It's just going to rebound. So let's go, let's have a read up here. Eggs, bacon, or ground beef, one times a week of steak. Okay, so he eats twice a day. He doesn't say how much he's eating. So, Twice a day, man. I would be so freaking like starved. It's like having just sex twice a day when you're really horny. It's like it's not enough, in my opinion. All right, enough is enough. <laughs> How much is enough? Enough's enough. So he's twice a day. So he's starving himself. So he's restricting his calories. He's going to rebound. His thyroid is going to be taking a diet, a diet function. Thyroid function is going down. TSH is going up. So he eats a couple of eggs, bacon or ground beef. How much bacon can you really eat in a sitting? You know what I mean? Like, before you start feeling sick. Um, and then you start to crave other things. It's just, yeah, so once a week, he has a steak. So starvation, it's restriction. Restrict calorie restriction on the yo-yo diet again. And feeling like crap in the meantime. Um, this one here, I'm on day three. I'm trying to stay away from dairy as much as possible. I'm already sick of meat. <laughs> I drink water and have a cup of two of coffee with heavy cream. I know I'm not getting enough fat, but I'm not quite understanding the 80-20 thing. I feel like crap, and the thought of one more bite of meat has me gagging. I've done keto for over a year and lost five pounds. My goal is to feel better. I've done keto over a year and lost five pounds in a year. My goal is to feel better. She, so she, oh, my God. So literally, when people do my protocols, they feel better in seconds. You're going to feel better in seconds. As soon as you incorporate... The nutritional side of my protocol, you're going to feel better in seconds. Okay, let's 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 be a bit more relaxed. Two minutes, okay? You're going to feel better in two minutes at least. This person here, I really feel for her, Trisha. She's done keto for over a year, and her goal is to feel better. So after a year, she still doesn't feel better, but she did my protocol. She literally feel better within maximum two minutes, okay? You're going to feel better. Once your dopamine starts kicking up, and once your serotonin starts kicking up from the magical secret foods that I recommend in my protocols at Duranide.com, literally, you're going to start feeling better. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? So she's been doing keto for a year and five pounds, which would, be, which would be muscle. You lose muscle on keto. That's why Sean Baker, et cetera, have to crank the steroids, man crank the steroids and they're cranking the carbs they're lying to you they're lying straight up to you man you can't have that full muscle without carbohydrate glycogen and you can't have that full muscle this the the mass without abusing anabolic steroids okay but hey these pe these people do kind of all diet the followers are iq of like 7.2 no that doesn't make them bad people they're just easily misled easily scammed um, here we go. All right. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I don't count anything. Some days eat more, some days less. Last night I had a small steak, a hamburger patty, and a hamburger soup. <laughs> what sort of life is this? Really? What sort of life do these people want to have? What is the going on out there? What are your thoughts on alcohol? Preferably vodka. Asking for a friend. Lol. You know, um... This, oh my god you know so th this this is you know this is sad man like this is so sad to see these people suffering i mean i, I haven't drunk alcohol for over 20 years but i'll be probably an alcoholic on our carnivore diet you need carbs people okay you need carbs oh man it's yeah you know, again all these people looking for weight loss people if you're looking for weight loss do my protocols look how lean i am look how much i get to enjoy food and travel. I eat at restaurants literally every single night when I'm here in Thailand. I go to the restaurants. I go to Natasha Deer. Which restaurant should we go to tonight? To feast. Okay. Every single night. Get out to restaurants. I get to socialize. I get to go to events. All right. I don't get to have to eat like a vulture to stay lean. These people feel like crap. I feel sorry for them. You've been scammed. Forget the carnivore diet, do my protocols, effortless weight loss, feel better. You'll feel your best you've felt in your life. I guarantee it. You'll start feeling better in two minutes. Guaranteed.